All right, everybody. Welcome to Roski Plays Stardew Valley, episode eight. And uh, yeah, we're hopping on in. Uh, it looks like my copper axe is ready. And uh, I apologize, guys. I've <laughs> I was uh, doing I was traveling, and I recorded you know episodes ahead of time and put them out while I was gone. And so that's why. It's been a lot of Stardew Valley. They're generally easier to record than the uh, Crusader Kings episodes, but not by not by a whole lot. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll probably do a Crusader King video as well, right around the same time this one comes out. This is my first one back. Uh, it looks like it is Shane's birthday. Clear and sunny day tomorrow. All right, but yeah. So, we'll head on out. Oh, good. Looks like the parsnips are ready. Man, this soil looks... <laughs> it always looks like it's already been watered. It's good we have the uh, uh, sprinkler down there so you can actually see when something's been watered or not. We may have enough oh, for the quality crop bundle. Like I said last time, I might um, do the Joja route. I'm still deciding, to be honest. Yay. All right. So this, these guys need a scythe. All right. Well, that's pretty. Pretty good. All right. We've got a hoe. Look at that. We got some good spots to dig. It's great. so the materials are still in there I have to get used to everything again <laughs> where everything goes so all right and we have a cauliflower let's see here and Maru we have already given her one gift this week we're getting close we're getting close I don't know if we're gonna make it um, Oh, that's pretty cool. We do have a lot of people that are real happy with us, so that's good. But Maru is the highest, which is good. She's kind of... Oh, well, actually, Pam's pretty close. I think they might be the same. But I've already given two to Pam this week. Okay. So, yeah. Um... Did I already do the... Oh, no. There it is. Okay, so we still don't have quite enough there. Alrighty. Well. I guess we'll sell these. I, somebody might have a good, uh, somebody might like tulips, I'm not sure. <clears throat> okay, so let's do that. I always like to have something just in case. And then we'll grab, let's see here, it's just the ninth. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and grab, uh, sorry. The mixed seeds we were just looking at. There we go. Ooh, actually, we got that kale. Let's do that. Takes six days. All right. We'll put 
foot one there. And we'll get the scythe out. Easy. All right. I did get the, yeah. Mixed seeds. There we go. <clears throat> Let's move the scarecrow something like more, a little more central like that. That way he'll be protecting everything. There we go. I'm just messing everything up. Man. <laughs> All right. Well, I did I did my best there. <laughs> I guess. There we go. The rice is doing great up here. I don't know if I need to protect rice from a crow. Probably, probably. But we'll just leave it alone for now. Here we go. Having the uh, upgraded um, water can is so nice. All right, so we got that. Let's see here. We could just do spring seeds. Um, and we might as well, I guess, just to kind of fill everything out. Spring seeds are not the best. It's just the forageable stuff, but it's still kind of good to have around. So there we go. And when we go to Pierre's, we'll get some. Um, that's not bad profit either. When we go to Pierre's, we'll get some more seeds. So that'll be good. All right, let's go and put the watering can up. There we go. And then uh, copper bars, copper bars. Do I have enough? Yeah. We'll go ahead and get the um, pickaxe upgraded. That'll be good.
So actually, ah, it's hard to know. Well, never mind. We won't get the pickaxe upgraded because. Uh, all right. So, let's see here. So Anton likes spaghetti. So yeah, maybe we'll see him today. Nice. Uh, yeah, he's not open yet. Yeah, so we can get Anton some spaghetti. Hopefully we can find him. I forget when Clint opens. We'll go ahead and do the trash run real quick. Scavenging for some trash. <laughs> oh man. I think at a certain point, if I remember right, once you hit a certain number of uh, times you checked in the trash, then you, um, yeah, it starts, you get more luck with it, basically. That's good. Um, I've been thinking about getting East Scarf. Let me know what you guys think. Hey, guys. Yeah, you can play on my farm. <laughs> and here's Floor. And I learned from uh, the mod uh, authors, or the people on the mod Discord for, sorry, but, uh, Ridgeside Valley, that it's pronounced like, like Flora. It's short for Flora. So it's not... I think I was being overly beat in my head. I thought it was like the floor, like the thing you step on. I was like, that's really sad. And she, you know, she seemed shy anyway. So I was like, that's kind of mean. But that's not what it was <laughs> short for. So. All right. Just checking for forage around. Is this Gus over here? Hey, Gus. <laughs> All right. So he brews his own drinks. Interesting. Hey, birds. All right. Let's see. We can check the beach, see if there's any forage down there. I probably should have brought my um, fishing rod. But I didn't think about it. Yeah, here's one. I haven't seen any more of those little dig spots. I thought maybe we were going to have a bunch today. Seemed like it was a good day for it. I need to remember to bring some wood down for that bridge. Blue Moon Vineyard. Sophia is not up yet. Actually, we haven't seen her for a couple days. I wonder what her schedule's like. Oh, here she is. Good morning. <laughs> okay.
Just check in for forage before we stop in with Pierre. Though we are going to be, once we get our axe, we are going to be heading over here to chop down that hardwood, so we don't need to get too intense with it. But, you know, just kind of checking around. Oh, there's some dandelion. Uh, fun fact about dandelions in real life, you can actually uh, get, like, dig up the root, and their, their roots are humongous, like... I don't know really big compared to the flower itself and um, you chop it up and uh, uh, what's it called like bake it in the oven for a little while and um, roast you roast it and uh, you can use the, the like chopped up dandelion roots to make these really great um, tea that's supposed to be really good for you. I, I make it sometimes. What's that? Huh. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, that that's a fun thing to do. And there's a, a also another weed. Called, I think it's called cat, cat's tail or cat tail, or something like that. Looks very similar to dandelions. Uh, it, its root is the same way, and you could even mix them if you like. Um, but yeah, they make a really good. Kind of tastes like coffee. In fact, during the uh, uh, the American Civil War, uh, some of the soldiers would use the uh, dandelion roots to make coffee. It was like a, you know, little alternate they could find while they were out, you know, because they didn't have a lot of supplies and stuff, so. Yeah. I don't know how many places have dandelions. I'm sure they're pretty widespread. Oh, look at this. We're getting a ton of good forage today. That's great. We're just gonna have like a foragey day today. That'll be good. I love, you know, just like being out in the woods. It's just such a beautiful map. And I think, I, I feel like I saw in the previews that there's more woods around. I guess we have to unlock it as we go. Um, Cause I haven't seen it yet, but. I thought maybe I saw a fiddlehead over here. But yeah, I've tried to keep an eye out for more woods. Like, see, there's a little opening over there, I wonder. No. Yay, horseradish. Nice. We're just having some good good score today. And they do like to hide. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is just like a really nice place to walk. Really relaxing. We're, we got really lucky finding this spot so early. These mushrooms are really good, I think. Pretty good amount of energy, too. Maybe I should eat one. I haven't had breakfast yet. And we don't have a kitchen yet. <laughs> we'll grab one of these. 
There we go. Good breakfast. I'm a little... Oh, no, wait. I'm just not as high as I thought I was on the map. I was getting just a little bit lost. Okay. We got a forage level. But, yeah, guys, there's so much fun stuff. Like, you can forage for in real life if you get into it. Um, or just, you know, stuff you can do. Like, uh, me and my son, every year, we take some apple seeds... And we put it in the fridge. Well, we have been doing it. We haven't done it yet this year. It's not too late, though. Uh, but, yeah, we take the apple seeds, put it in the fridge. And, um, uh, at, you know, in the spring, we'll take them out, put them in, you know, some pots. You know, pretty good-sized pots. Uh, see, you know, how they grow. Uh, you know, obviously, not all of them live, but some of them do. And, uh then you know you can transfer them into the ground once they're big enough and you you know kind of have a good idea of who's going to live and, and who isn't going to live as far as the, the apple seeds go it's you know and don't feel bad if you lose a couple because that's i think that's just how it goes in nature like not every apple seed makes it um but yeah you um you know you can plant them from there and it, w right now we have 11 apple seeds I think or apple trees something like that now obviously they haven't grown that high yet we've only been doing it for a couple of years maybe about three or four years hey it's Willie I won't forget Willie you can count on me all right time for the moment of truth hey Olivia I always called her Victoria. All right. We do need to get some more parsnips, I think. Man. Well, that's pretty good money we're making. I might just keep that other mushroom to eat later if we're going to the mine, which I think we need to. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I, I think I want to do, I've never done the Joja route, but I have this neat mod and Stardew Valley Expanded also adds some new stuff with the Joja route. Um, yay. So let's upgrade our... I mean, I think we need to do that, right? We need to do it at some point. It kind of sucks to not have your hoe. But, you know, it has to happen sometime. So, and yeah, we do need to get it done before the next season. But I also want to have... Plenty of strawberries. Well, it's all right. We don't need it for a couple days, so. I like the new Clint sprite, but he definitely does not look like, or the new Clint portrait, but it doesn't look like his uh, character sprite very much. If I had to, you know, to critique it. <laughs> So we got a copper axe. 
So, oh, I did bring my... I don't know what I was thinking. I think the pepper poppers are one of Maru's loved gifts, isn't it? I believe. Let me just double check. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's grab a couple. I hate spending all that money, but it'll be good to have. All right. And... Cheap blueberry seeds is actually pretty great. And that's for fall. That's not bad either. All right. I always forget where to click on here. There we go. We might grab a Jojo for the day. Just have a little drink. And then we do need parsnip seeds. So let's get a bunch. Okay. Let's see if we can run into... Let's see, it's Tuesday, so... Mara's working at the... Uh, pharmacy, or... Doctor's office, not pharmacy. Go. Oh, Willie had a doctor appointment. Ouch. <laughs> See, she always seems so nice and friendly, you know? Like, she's got, like, a warm nature. Always nice to have visitors. Hey, look, I brought you lunch. It's a little early. It changed her portrait. That's cute. So, Gus. I don't know who that is. Oh, right. Clint. I can't forget to go to the mine today. That might be what we do for the next little bit. Hey, doctor. Why am I here? I live here, son. <laughs> All right. Got some good daffodils. That's right. I like to go this way. I'm used to going to the... Oh. All right. So, I actually do, I like the mushrooms. I think the bats are technically better, like long term. But I like, like I like the purple mushrooms a lot. I don't know why, they seem really interesting to me. So yeah, we'll do mushrooms. And you can do different things with them. And there's, I, I know you can find mushrooms around in the wild, but I feel like, I don't know, I like them. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, alrighty. So we 
got some seeds. That's really pretty. They, the sprite work on this just matches the vanilla sprites so well, you know? Like, it just, they all look like they belong. It's great detail, great attention to detail. Um, I'm gonna stick this in here. So we got a Gunther. Gunther, Gunther. I do need to get a coop. Uh, I guess coal goes over here. And then that goes in there. Let me, let's run and get that hardwood real quick if we can. Watch there be a lot of dig spots on the way. <laughs> it's too late though. We're not gonna worry about it. Hey Jazz. <laughs> I don't think you really get to know that much about Jazz in the vanilla game. Maybe they expand on her with Stardew Valley expanded. I know there's some other uh like NPC expansion. Oh. Okay. So my axe is still not strong enough. Wild. I wonder if it's strong enough. <clears throat> we probably should break some of the stuff. baby tree there. Didn't mean to do that. We're getting these other trees in. That's good. Always want to have your trees resupplying. I need to um, start getting an actual place where I'm going to have a tree farm area. You know, that's a that just needs to be one of my long-term goals. But for right now, it's not super important, I guess. We just need to keep the tree population up till we decide. Oh, I didn't see garbage yet today, did I? Garbage. Oh, you know what else I need to check is if there's anything over here. Is it this way? No. It's down here. Yeah. If there's anything over here that I can chop with my new axe. I'm going to be kind of bummed if that upgrade did nothing. <laughs> Nice, got some forage. There we go. So we do get some hardwood today, that's good. Okay. So I'm not 
not strong enough there. Is this another uh, green greenhouse? It's interesting. Like that might be a path up, but it doesn't. really cool so we just basically uh, I think that's what I was talking about earlier is there's some neat things you can kind of expand on and find like I believe there's a shed somewhere on the property I need to stop Was cool so yeah so maybe we'll be able to get uh, to some other kind of fancy hidden spots oh nice <laughs> see they're totally hidden there that's great okay well I'm glad I checked that was fun So let's put this up and then we'll head to the mine and then tomorrow as long as I don't have any other uh, you know stuff pop up that's really cool uh, tomorrow I should be able to get my or not not tomorrow but maybe the day after I'll be able to do my pickaxe and get it upgraded Though, you know, I do need to get my, um, let's see here, that's not a lot of energy, so we'll, we'll sell that, uh, horseradish, and we'll sell those suckers right there. We're going to have a good lunch too. Not just the one we brought tomorrow, but we're getting some leeks and we're going to wash it down with a good Joja. <laughs> there we go. All right, so let's head to the mine. Since we're going there, we'll go ahead and put this up. And that way, hopefully we can get those copper in a fast enough time to get to uh, Clint before he closes. Well, actually, we probably could meet up with him. Um, oh, look at that. Uh, we probably could meet up with Clint um, at the bar later. That's what I was going to say. Okay. 
Let's see what that did for our heart situation with Mario. It's decent. We still have to get up a pretty good way. I don't know if the food is better than a gold quality item. I should probably keep that for uh, Haley for her birthday in case we don't. Hey, Ann, what are you doing? Ah, look, there's a dig spot right there we missed out on. Uh, let's see here. Hang on just one second, guys. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back. Sorry about that. I guess, you know, it didn't really take a lot of time for you guys. <laughs> but, uh, okay, let's see here. If that uh, Anton guy is in Ridgeside... It'll give us a good chance to go up there at night. I usually go up in the daytime, or even in, mostly in the morning, I think. Um, so it'll give us a good chance to... Ah, I forgot my sword. Uh, whoops. I'm such a dummy. <laughs> How did I miss that? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so maybe, you know, there'll be f some fun stuff going on. Well, since we're going back to the farm anyway, let's just check for forage down here. Nothing. Okay. And then, yeah, Jojo will fix that or the community center, depending on which route we go. Maybe we'll bring something for Linus. How am I doing on Linus' friendship points? I do want to get him to, I think, two hearts. Is when he gives us sashimi. I don't remember. Yeah, he's already at one. So that's great. And he loves yams. But I'll probably save that for his birthday. I'm not sure when that is. Uh Going back to the farm, because I'm a dummy and forgot my sword. <laughs> oh, well. I was like, I'm fine. I've got a scythe. There's garbage. Hey, buddy. In fact, let's water him real fast while we're here, too. I'm burning daylight. Oops. <clears throat> I know it really doesn't affect anything, but I still like to water my pets. There we go. We'll bring the sword. Let's water. There we go. Yeah, that gold star dandelion will be a good gift for Haley. If we don't find anything she loves before her birthday and that way even if we can't dance with Maru we can still have a dance partner which is great oh wow yeah we got some some stuff for Gunther yeah okay so Jade alright okay I think that's everything Oh, uh, let's bring a forage for Linus just because we'll see him. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. Um, huh. Well, let's bring him a horseradish. Maybe I shouldn't have sold everything. <laughs> but it's fine. We'll get lots of good... God, he's so cute. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I wish you could get more than one um, pet. 
Or you probably can. There's probably a mod for it. <clears throat> All right. Susan's still trapped. Here you go, Linus. I thought about you today, so you're welcome. Let me just see. Linus liked gifts. Okay. So we still haven't really found any of his loved gifts. Man. Okay. So I guess he just likes everything, which is good. Yeah, so we'll go get in the mine and we'll get some copper. And for copper, I think we're going to start, let's see, maybe floor 20. That's a pretty good amount of uh, monsters for, you know, not a bad luck day. Okay, so we can take torches. It's funny. I thought you could, but I sometimes I remember things incorrectly or things change over time, so it's good to know. There we go. This sword is really not bad. I had an upgrade though, I forgot. It's fine, this will work for this level in the mine. There we go. All right. Seeing a lot of copper. There we go. Nothing. Right. 
Well, I love seeing the geodes. Is it a lucky day? I thought it was neutral. Yeah. Frogs everywhere. Good, we got some rice shoots. There's a ladder. If we don't see any copper, we'll just go ahead and take it. There we go. That's great. Got some mixed seeds. That quick. You know, never sleep on the mine. It's always got some good stuff in it. Nice. Oops. Time that. The block with the sword is actually pretty cool. You can do a lot of stuff with it. I just forget about it a lot of times. Nice. We need two more copper. This might be it. Good deal. Oh. We could probably sell those shoes on the way back. Though it might be good to have, um, you want to have different shoe colors because well, we'll we'll see when we get there, but basically you can dye your shoes at the at the end of the game. Nice. Let's see if we can get some more mixed seeds. Nope. Let's us keep the copper too, which is good. All right, we're really close to a combat level. It's kind of exciting. got the copper and it might be early enough that we can just uh well let's go ahead and sell this say hi to marlin not bad money but we will need them later so combat boots are really good but we have these tundra boots on which 
are just about as good. And give us immunity. And I think we find um, combat boots on our own inside the mine. So I believe so. I, like I said, I'm real rusty, but my memory sometimes serves me well. <laughs> We'll head on back to the farm. I wonder if Seb is up. He's up. I don't know where he is though. <laughs> Maybe he's getting some breakfast. Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, these are a little ray of sunshine, Sebastian. Man, that was fun in the mine. We did good. Grab some coffee here. Controlling my controller with the wrong hand <laughs> for that. There we go. Let's see how it looks in there. Yeah, he's got it all set up. So we get those in there. Probably should sell some of those, but I feel like once we can use them, we'll use a ton of them. So maybe I'll hold off for now. Do do do. So I can make bug steak. That's not too bad, actually. <laughs> that energy is not bad. We might keep that in mind. I feel like we need those for something, so I'm not going to sell them all. All right. And we'll just put that in there for now. Perfect. Okay. Well, <clears throat> we'll head over to Clint. Turn in this quest. A 
Maybe buy some spaghetti and see if we can find Anton real quick. I think uh, Sam and Penny have a little thing for each other, which is great. Oh, I need 25. Crap. <laughs> oh. I just depressed Clint. Let's see here. Where is he at now? Oh, okay. He does still like us a little bit. I don't know what I gave him, but maybe I did another job for him. <clears throat> so we'll go back to the mine get five more copper crap let's grab some food get some dinner we'll get Pam a beer so that's 50 energy and that's 150 yeah that's less we'll get some bread I think salad's technically better but it's fine we'll get a breadstick Oh, I already gave Pam two gifts. I wonder if Lenny likes beer. Hey, Willie. Let's see what Willie loves. Does Willie love a good beer? He probably likes it. Anyway, we'll just give it to him. There we go. Alright. So we gotta get... I don't know. I really like George too, Evelyn, but I don't think he likes me. <laughs> threw me off I really thought it was um, 20 so we'll go in and get the, the rest there we go that's our sword right there the good one and yeah I think that's all we need back to the mine one more time And then we'll go get Clint at the, uh, oh. Hopefully we have enough energy, but we, we can forage in the mine itself. Or make one of those bug steaks. That'll be delicious. <laughs> deal the adventure guild all right
Nice. Okay. Well, it says we have enough now. I don't know how we got enough, but that's fine. Let's head to Clint <laughs> before the game changes its mind. Got a good Omni Geode. Let's see if uh, Marlon likes cave carrots. This is just a theory. But I would imagine if you're an adventurer, you've probably lived on these suckers a few times. Ah, nope. Does not like it. Hey, Demetrius. Speaking of that family, have we seen Robin today? She's kind of MIA. All right. Let's see. If we go here. Hey, Shane. That's rude, man. <laughs> All right. Good deal. So we got mission accomplished there on that quest. We may have two hearts with him now. I'm wondering if that's what is causing the lag here. But we'll see when it pops up. I've learned to just kind of let it roll. Good deal. Got some good money. And that's actually really good because we get to keep the thing we brought him. So Clint's not a bad guy to work for. Let's see. Clint, 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 Clint. If he's just still upset about the um, <laughs> copper thing I gave him. Oh, he loves Omni Geodes. So let's go and get a spaghetti and see if we can find Anton. That's where it's really cool with that mod. <laughs> Looks legit. Salute. It's nice to be able to play again. Like I don't mind traveling, but uh, it's it's always fun to get back and get on the the computer again. Uh, Ridge side, Ridge side. They should have the broken bus like on the side of the road. I feel like, but if I was gonna make a suggestion for concerned ape. deal. Head 
heading on over to Ridgeside. That's cute. Was that Leia in there? Alright. Yeah, trash bag. <laughs> Once we make the recycler, that's going to be great. Let's see. Oh, there's a leak over there. Uh huh. Ah, oh, you just want those pretty flowers. Azorian. Azor, a high. What's this? Here lies Arthur. I don't know. Mysteries. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. We're getting so much beautiful stuff. I hope I don't run out of room. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Have I been missing out? Leak down here. There's one of these big pink trees that Jazz likes to jump rope under. Oh, there's the monk's hood. Dude. We just found a new place. That's great. On our forage day. We're not <laughs> we're not doing our main goal of finding Anton, but you know. filling up like crazy worst case scenario I can get rid of this trash bag we they're not that you know great and I will be getting rid of the spaghetti once we find Anton before okay okay so she must be a child I guess it's hard to tell when people are sitting she likes coffee I guess kids can like coffee my kids always try to get into my coffee. <laughs> okay. Do, 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 do. It's funny. Um, yeah. And some of these, like, uh, so Irene lives in there. In some of these houses, it's like these people are, are adventurers or something. 
Don't jump in their private pool, man. Oh, is this Irene right here? Nope. Okay. I don't think this is Anton's house. Let's just check. Sunny. And this is the storage room. One thing a lot of mods add is uh, bathrooms, which does make sense. You know, if you're going to have a house, that's kind of important. <laughs> It might break your immersion a little bit if you don't have a place to go to the bathroom. Is this a farm over here? Oh, nice. Oh, okay, so that's where Carmen lives. That's cute. I wonder why she's down in the valley so much. Looks like she's got great fishing right outside her house. Got some breadsticks in somebody's trash. That's great. <laughs> we are not picky. It's like Lola lives there. Huh. <sighs> Freddy. Okay, so Lola and Freddy. I keep forgetting so many people to keep track of. In a good way, you know? It's a good good problem to have. Okay, well. I probably shouldn't have done that, but here, we'll get rid of that. A storeroom. Oh man. <laughs> well, that is not Anton. I think I have room for a horseradish. All right. <clears throat> Dude, nice. She's cute. Well, all right, let's see here. So let's go to the map, okay? Let's 
Okay. He might be in the valley. I might be barking up the wrong tree. I think I have seen maybe I've maybe I've seen him in uh the bar before. It's it's hard to remember. But we'll get him a spaghetti. Hopefully. Hopefully we make it in time. For his birthday. Let's see here. Try to find the best way. Oh man. Let's see here. Sure. Some green slimes. There he is. Whew. I wonder if this is like scripted for his birthday. Awesome. Right. I think we met her before. It's hard to remember. I do like all the different builds. Uh, like people have in rich side like the, there's a lot of different size people so she is available as a um, romanceable candidate she's cute Yeah, so many people. <laughs> um, oh, she loves rich cherries. Do I have one of those? Uh, let's see what Faye likes. I like being up here at night. That's pretty cool. I wonder why that says she's locked. That's interesting. Summer Mountain Blessing. Let's see if this is... Oh, they have the <laughs> spaghetti here. Oh, and you get recipes. Nice. Very, very shaky. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, guys. You know, I had to get distracted real easy. Have we met Blair? I guess we have. We got a heart with her. I can't remember. Faye likes a cherry berry shaky. So let's get her one. Okay. We're just cleaning up on the uh, 
villager hearts. Being very generous. <laughs> All right. Broken CD. All righty. So let's head on back. Oh yeah, we're gonna slay some slimes. I think we'll finish for the night there. I need to turn on uh, monsters spawning at the farm. Is that a... Let's see here. You can see when I grab the <laughs> mouse. I thought it was in the game options. Oh no, I actually I think it's uh later in the game. You can unlock it. I remember now. Head in here. I'll do that. Um, oh, let's keep that keep these probably about time to separate another um, chest oops no okay Do to do. Yeah. Maybe we should do a couple of these real quick. Just get those rolling. Okay. Let's sell these suckers. make some good money today and let's uh, head to the mine one more time it's been a crazy crazy mining day today but that's fun oh hey garbage it's okay buddy Slay sl 10 green slimes. I think we can do that. We got a little time left. And that'll be a good uh, little mission there. And who was that for? Lola. Oh, okay. And that's the little old lady. She's um, married to that, that big uh, older guy. Uh, starts with an R or F Fernando Fernando dude I love going up in the dark that's great and maybe we'll get some uh, some more mixed seeds or something while we're in here it'll be fun Oh, right. 
right, let's see here. 20 was the good one, right? For copper. I should have brought that, um, hey, a new geode, great. I should have brought that, uh, cherry bomb. We, oh, nice. Oh, but we're not here for copper. <laughs> Still, though, that's pretty nice. It does suck that we don't really get a lot of coal, though. I think those, um, those little, uh, like, jumpy black, dusty things in the um, frozen levels give you there we go got some algae oh, I need that we didn't have I guess we had a little bread for dinner so we have bread and algae <laughs> good combination oh here we go infested level perfect Oh, we should have got that quest at the beginning of the day. I don't know if those little guys count. Nice. Oh, I don't have the ring yet? Crazy. Nice, an earth crystal. Nope. More geodes. Yeah, uh, another cool thing we have around here that I like to kind of forage for is we have a, um, a black walnut tree, which you don't get a lot of actual walnut like food from. They, they're very low amount of meat in there, but um, uh, you can use the skin from the walnut to make this dye, and that's a, a thing that people from that time period also used as like a cheap source of it's like a dark gray like a brownish grayish dye it's really pretty well okay so we're running low on energy I'm not gonna just keep uh, doing that. Let's see if we can just get lucky. <laughs> Let's see if we do this, if there's any. No. We 
are getting a lot of bugs. Uh, unfortunately, that's not really what we need right now. <laughs> Steak. Nice. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I have to talk to Lola. So good, we did it. Okay. Lola is probably sleeping, I would guess. guys well I think I might have mentioned this last time I played uh, but I was thinking about some cool ways to, to do some different things and maybe if we set up a time when everybody wants to we could do like a stream of uh, Junimo Kart I have never done well at that game but it might be fun to Kind of experiment with it. It looks like that bush is glowing a little bit. It's interesting. Kind of interesting what you see in the dark. Um, but yeah, we could do like Juno McCart and the uh, Journey of the Prairie King. Uh, things like that it might be a fun little thing to do during a stream. There we go. Let's do that. Oh, we got another yam. Perfect. Oops, no, not that. There. We probably sell those. Drop these in here. There we go. We'll talk to Lola. Get that little relationship bump. Night garbage. All right, guys. Well, we'll head to bed. Uh, thanks so much for watching again. I don't know how popular the series is going to be. I've loved Stardew Valley forever. And uh, my sons like watching Stardew Valley videos. And, uh, you know, I thought it would be fun to have something that, that you know, I could have on <laughs> when, they're, when they're wanting to watch it. And I have to worry about... Some people that play Sardu, you know, I like watching them, but uh, it's not really great for kids necessarily. Um, so I try to be pretty mellow. And okay. Like I don't mark my videos as for kids, but, you know, I try to keep it pretty friendly for everybody. And this is a, a kid friendly game, you know, like um, Crusader Kings is a little less kid friendly. Uh, if I play Cyberpunk, you know, I'm thinking about going back and playing that or um, Kingdom Come Deliverance or Near Automata. Those might be less kid friendly games, but at least I'm being, you know, mellow and relaxed during it. So, OK, so we got Speed Grow. That's good. And good deal. 
Wow. We leveled up everything today. It was a productive day. <laughs> good deal. Made some good money. And yeah, in the next episode will be day 10. That's great. All right, everybody. Well, thanks again for watching. Thanks again for the subscriptions, the, the likes, the comments, and everything. Like I said, there's been less um, interaction with these videos than my Crusader Kings. I'm not sure why. I think they're both pretty popular games, but, you know, maybe it's just my lack of ability to, you know, put this somewhere where people can find it. But anyway, uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.